Oh. Hello there. I didn't see you there. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, what's up, fellow uh, netbook users, I should rather say, because it's net technically netbook news rather than Acer's by one day. Anyways, um, I'm here to bring you some pretty exciting news if you're an uh, Alienware M11X fan. Um, it's the soon, the, uh, it's leaked information, but it's pretty exciting. It's the Intel Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7 are coming to the M11X. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Those processors are usually in pretty, um, pretty expensive computers. <laughs> and high-end, too. Anyway, so, what we're here to talk about is the different, the uh, different specifications of the different, um, Core i families. Anyways, um, it, even though it's link, uh, leaked information, it's actually, uh, it's reliable, and, um, I think sometime in, uh, June, they're gonna officially uh, release the information on what, on what, which different uh, core i's they're gonna put on it. But they're gonna have the core i3, core i5, core i7 on it, <coughs> or maybe just a few of them. I don't know. Anyways, um, so uh, as you know, uh, Dell they technic they say they technically say the. The M11X is not a netbook. They say it's a laptop, but come on, guys. It's a 11.6 inch screen, and it doesn't have a disc tray, so it's a netbook. And no, that is not an insult to it. It is actually a compliment, because netbooks are awesome. Anyways, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump right into the different cores. Let's see. I got my notes again. Um, so let's see, the Intel Core i3 processor, which is the lower end one, <clears throat> the processor speeds go from, vary from 1.20 to 3.06. Um, this actually has, um, it's a dual core, but with, um, Intel's new tech, hyper-threading technology, well, technically it's not new, but hyper-threading technology, um, it actually has two logical cores as well as the two physical cores. So it actually has four threads. Um, I hope that makes sense to you. Anyways, it has uh, four megabytes of Intel Smart Cache, which, and it has um, two channels of DDR3 30, uh, 1333 megahertz memory. Um, yes, it is the dual core, the Core i3. Some people, they have mistaking it for all the core eyes to actually be quad core but no it's just the it's um the core i5 and core i7 they have quad cores but I'll get into that when I once I read into that anyways um so the I'll just go ahead right into the Intel core i5 processor which oh wait no uh just a little bit more on the core i3 the there's the different processor speeds uh, most likely the one for the netbook will be the 1.20, the 1.2 gigahertz, because it's the low voltage processor, the ultra low voltage. But it could possibly go into the standard voltage, which is 2.13 or the 2.26 gigahertz. Those are viable for the M11X since it's technically a, no a notebook, not a, lap a netbook. But yeah, anyways. Um, going on to the Intel Core i5 processor. Um, the processor speeds vary from 1.06 to to 3.46. So um, it has um, turbo boost technology on some of them, which I'll get into soon. Um, the, it has four processing threads or eight processing threads with hyper-threading technology. So it's capable, there's different models that have one model has, uh, I think, the several models have uh, two physical cores, and other models have four physical cores. So those of you who don't know <coughs> about the, a lot of people are confused about this. They they're not sure whether the core i5 is a dual core or a quad core. So there are different models. Some that are dual core and some that are quad core. 
So anyways, with the dual core, you can, with the hyperthreading technology, it actually has four threads, two cores, two physical cores, and two um, logical cores. And th with um, the quad cores, it actually has uh, four physical cores and uh, four logical cores. So it has eight threads with hyperthreading technology. Um, it's up to eight megabytes of Intel smart, um, yeah, Intel smart cache. Um, it has two channels of DDR3 1333 megahertz memory, um, and also the. I'm not sure the complete list, but there's a one example is the Core i5-7XX has uh, four real cores and then the Core four physical cores, and the Core i5 uh, Six XX has a two physical core, uh, so there's it varies with the different uh, with different um, models of the Core i5. Anyways, there's the the Core i7 processor, which is the high high end, pretty much. I think it's known as one of the best, if not the best, processors right now, and it's on going to be on a netbook. Or presumably on one. Anyways, it the speeds range the processor speeds range from 2.66 to 3.33. Um, but oh wait, I forgot with the i5 processor, which is the most likely speed, the ultra low is the 1.06 gigahertz. But with turbo boosting technology, which the most of the i3s don't have, but the i5s most like most of the i5s have it. It's um, 1.06 gigahertz, but with turbo boosting technology, it has 1.86. If you don't know what turbo boosting technology is, it's um, it redirects. This is a quote: uh, redirects power and accelerates performance to match your workload. So it redirects the power to what you need, and it actually raises the speed. Anyways, um, the most likely is that one. But the standard is 2.26, or uh, varies between 2.26 gigahertz to 3.06. It's viable. It's the standard um, voltage, so it could be working on this, the M11X. Oh, by the way, yes, the M11X is getting a um, battery boost, so it's going to have an eight-cell battery rather than a normal six-cell battery. It would need that with these uh, pretty intensive. <coughs> processors. Anyways, on to the Intel Core i7. Um, it has eight processing threads with high hyperthreading technology, and some of them, which most likely not on the, it's not going to be on the netbook. There's one with actually six physical cores and twelve co uh, threads with hyperthreading technology, um, but that's probably not going to be on the netbook. Anyways. It has eight megabytes of Intel Smart Cache, um, three ch three channels of DDR3, 1060 megahertz, which is actually lower than the other ones. I'm not sure why. Anyways, um, so the most likely is the two. It's the low voltage, ultra low voltage, um, two gigahertz speed, with I, which I believe is. A, and by the way, all the Intel Core i7s. Most of them, if not all, are quad core. Anyways, um, there's two point, except for the the six core. Anyways, the 2.0 gigahertz. It with uh, turbo boosting technology. Most of the i7s have turbo boosting technology. It is goes all the way up to 3.2 gigahertz. This is the most likely one for the core i7, and um, the mo. It doesn't really have a normal voltage. Um, well, actually, that was a normal voltage, and that was most likely it. So, yeah, that's pretty much an overview of what's coming to the M11X. Yeah, that's right. Netbooks are getting much more powerful. They're taking over the world. <laughs> Anyways, um, with this, with these new processors, you can most likely expect a price boost. So probably expect maybe a hundred to maybe three hundred dollars extra for all this so I mean it's do it's pretty good if, um, I mean it's gonna replace a normal computer anyways I'm running out of time so um, I'll leave it off
there and leave your comments in the comment section below.